Between 1405 and 1433, the Ming Dynasty eunuch, Zheng He, commanded the Chinese expeditionary voyage from Nanjing to the west of Borneo, reached East Africa and the Red Sea. This was the largest voyage of maritime explorations in human history before the Age of Discoveries at the end of the 15th century. In 1492, after 61 years of Ming maritime expeditions, the German navigator Martin Berheim collaborated with a painter, invented the world's first globe, the Earth Apple. Despite its inaccuracies, it still constitutes the common concept of the Earth today. Since the 16th century, with the opening of new routes, the trade between East and West have been gradually built up. At the end of the 18th century, marked by the invention of the steam engine, industrial revolution took the lead in Britain and then swept across Europe rapidly, unveiling the prelude to globalization. Capitalists strive to open up the world market, and their impact spread all over the world. However, economic development has also brought cruel colonialism and two world wars in the early 20th century. Social construction has stalled, but the development of globalization has not ended here. The end of the Cold War has led us to the beginning of a new international order. Under the new world structure, the breadth and impact of global mobility and communication are unprecedented. The establishment of the World Trade Organization, the breakthrough of science and technology, the accelerated capital flows and reconfiguration, and the era of the global network created by the Internet. The human civilization has undergone dizzying and profound changes. The difference between countries, nations, and religions the new structure of the economy, communication and trade. The new preference of tradition, history and culture. However, this does not mean that human civilization has entered a worldwide great harmony. Who are we? Where are we from? Where are we going? How shall we see, interact and communicate in such an era full of complex and dramatic conflict. What is the new treasure ship in the context of globalization so that people from Asia and other regions can be brought to the other side of the Earth? What kind of new globe can set up a new vision of humanity and understand the past, present, and the future of human civilization? The theme, A Confrontation of Ideals, of the second Anren Biennale will reconstruct the history and the imagination of today through the perspective of art and explore the human community in the context of globalization with the audience.